What's good with y'all, man? It's Cam Brianna. The video straight like that. Comment down below which you want to see the next video. Like, subscribe. If you are brand new to the channel, man, let's get it. We on Demon Time as usual. Uh, and let's get it, man. Let's get straight into it. Uh, y'all see the title of the video, man. This is why you always single on Valentine's. Every time February 14th roll around, you always lonely. You can't get in a relationship. You don't have no, you know what I'm saying? 304s, you ain't got nobody to text, nobody texting you, Valentine, happy Valentine's Day, nothing like that, no good morning text, no good night text, nothing like that, you is mad lonely on Valentine's, every Valentine's, bruh, and it's not by choice, a lot of, it's not by choice, alright, so this video is going to be breaking down and explaining the reason why you never have anybody by your side, or nobody to text, or nothing like that on Valentine's, and you can't buy a date if your life depended on it, bro. So let's get right into it, man. First, we need to break down attraction. Attraction, 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 right? <sighs> um, Understand that attraction works on a lot of different levels. There's an emotional level of attraction, there's a physical level of attraction, right? And understand that it goes beyond, you know, just having the flyest clothes, or whatever, just just looking cool, like whatever. It's understand that it's scientific, right? It's biological. It can be traced back to concepts that you know what I mean. We're we're around way way back, like caveman times, bro. Understand, it works like this, right? In general, people want what they cannot have. Let me say that again. People want what they cannot have. Women want what they can't have, right? Let's think about it. We know for a fact that women are hypergamous. If you don't know what hypergamy is, it basically means that women is always going to date up. They always want to upgrade. Therefore, understand the average woman always is going to want Michael B. Jordan, Odell Beckham Jr., uh, uh, who else? Uh, uh, quarterbacks in the NFL, NBA players, Luka Doncic. You, you get what I'm saying? Dudes with money, status, clout, fame, all of that. She's going to want them type dudes. Even though she knows she can never have those type of guys, right? If she's just an average chick, understand that she wants those type of guys, right? And there's a whole bunch of different reasons. Yes, because of hypergamy, but that just goes to show you one of the basic principles of what uh, 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 of she wants what she can't have, right? And let, let, let's make it a little bit more relatable, right? The guy in high school, dog, that never gives her any attention, doesn't want to date her, doesn't may not even find her that attractive. She wants him. She want him. As long as as long as he's perceived as a guy that other women want, she want him. You know why? Because she wants that attention from him. She wants that validation from him. Understand? And she can't have it. So that's going to make her chase more. That's how you get women to chase you, dog. That's how you get them to chase you. You deprive them of what they need, of what they want from you. You deprive them of spending money on them. You deprive them of attention. You deprive them of all of that. And that's when they start chasing it. And when they chase it, you capitalize, right? But back to my point, attraction, right? It even applies to dudes, too. Understand, man, a lot of y'all dudes have zero self-esteem, no confidence, nothing like that, bro. You care way too much about what people think. You have no confidence in yourself. None. So, therefore, you, you always steady talking about... Oh, I like this girl, but she's on my league. Oh, I like this girl, but, 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 oh, she's this, she's different, she's this, she that, she this, she that. You always thinking that a woman is above you. Average chicks, bro, this happens in high school. You was in high school talking about, oh, I can't get this chick because she popular or she this, she that, she a cheerleader, she on the team. Bro, are you serious? Are you serious? No confidence, no self-esteem, that's the average dude these days. Believing that you can't do something. You have a quitter mindset. That's why none of y'all will ever be successful, really. Because you can you constantly have a quitter mindset, dog. You allow others to dictate who you think you are. You allow others to control your confidence levels. Let's let's be real, bro. Me, I could never be like that. I know my value. I understand my value. Listen, bro. You gotta understand. This YouTube stuff, bro, people hate on me all the time, bro. People that go to school with me or whatever, all that. They be hating on me all the time, bro. I know. I know. <laughs> I can tell. You think I care, bro? I'm getting this money. What? The channel is growing. I'm helping people out. I built a community. That's something that a lot of people can't do. I know my value. So you will never catch me, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, she better than me. Oh, I can never get her. Oh, I can never get her. Back to attraction, though. 
understand that the basic principle is you want what you can't have. That's why when it comes to clothes even, right? Jordans, let's think about it. The more limited something is, the more its perceived value goes up. Doesn't matter if it's quality or not. These Jordans that y'all be buying are literally the same ones just with a new colorway every single time. Yet, because they're so limited, because they're so hard to get, because the resale or, or bots and all of this, your val the perceived value now goes up in your mind. You see how that works? That's a scientific breakdown. You want what you cannot have. You chase what you cannot have. And that is why you're always single on Valentine's Day. Because you are the one chasing. You don't attract women. You chase them. You chase them. That's the difference. That's the difference between you and me. That's the difference between you and a guy that wins with women. Between you and the guy that's successful with women. The guy that's successful with women attracts them. You chase them. You text her constantly trying to get her to be interested in you. Trying to get her to go out on a date. The guy that she likes, they don't even have to do all that. She might even be setting up the date for, oh, let's link up. She's saying that to him. But you chase him, bruh. Even, look, even if you want a relationship, you can't chase a relationship. That's the problem with a lot of y'all today. A lot of a lot of young men that seek in relationships, the, your problem, your issue is that you keep chasing it, bruh. You keep chasing it. You keep trying to rush it. Slow your roll. Calm down. See, it's never good when you chase. What good has ever come out of chasing something unless it was chasing the bag? What good has chasing ever, uh, chasing ever done for anyone? Nothing. Nothing. You trying to grab her attention and, oh my God, oh, look at me, look at me, look at me. You trying to be a pick me. That's never going to do anything for you, dog. Never. Ever. Never, bruh. Let's keep it real. Stop chasing these chicks, bruh. Stop giving them what they want. And I keep preaching this same message over and over again because y'all not getting it. You not getting it, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, if y'all was starting to understand, then you wouldn't see so many problems that we see today. Why is y'all steady chasing chicks when you could be chasing a bag and that's how you attract them? Focus it on you. Stop giving them attention, bro. That's literally how it works. I was at a party the other day, right? Or like last week or something. Last week, two weeks ago, something like that. And there was a chick. Now, me, I'm in a relationship, right? So I'm not even on that type of wave, right? So automatically, I ain't giving no chicks attention, nothing like that. I'm literally just chilling with the homies, whatever. Listening to some music. I think YG was on. Twist my fingers with my... I was listening to that. Whole time, I wasn't giving no females no attention. But guess what? Guess what I over here? Oh, my God. He he see, he he, he he not saying nothing to me. Oh, he not talking to me. Why he not... I'm thinking, oh, it might be about someone else, not me. It was about me. You know why? Because guess what? She tried to come up and talk to me afterwards. I had to swerve her, of course. I had to swerve her. But you see how that works? You see how she came up to me because I wasn't showing no type of attention? You see how that works? It's the law of attraction, dog. You can't be trying to trying to chase something. You can't be like, oh my God, like, oh my God, I'm constantly thinking about her. I'm constantly thinking about this. Bro, that's never brought any, that's never worked. That's never worked. It only works in movies, bro. It only works in movies. What it comes down to, what it boils down to is whoever tries the least wins. Whoever tries the least wins. Yes, that's how it works, dog. You want a Valentine's Day date or you want multiple chicks to text, whatever, uh, next Valentine's Day, I promise you, take this advice. Try less. Don't try so hard with chicks. You think, you see, a lot of y'all just be overcomplicating things and you overthink it, man. That's what it all boils down to. You overthinking things too much, bruh. You thinking, oh my God, like, what do I text her? Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, what do I do? What do I do here? What do I do here? Bro, I remember I said in the video a minute ago, if she got you thinking about what to say to her, you've already lost. You've already lost. Because if you thinking about what to say to her, what to do, whatever, it means that she's gotten you to a point where you like her so much that you want to be careful with what you say. You want to be super duper careful with what you say to the point where you're not even being yourself. You've changed yourself for somebody else, for a chick. Women ain't doing that for you. When's the last time you seen a chick uh, 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 thinking, oh, my God, like, he's out of my league, blah, blah, blah. They don't do that, at least not for average dudes. You got to be 
your value have to be up here for her to do that. When's the last time a chick did that for you? They don't do that for you. Because you steady chasing them. You stay giving them what they want already. Why would they want somebody that's already giving them what they want? She knows that you going she knows that Valentine's Day is gonna come around and you're gonna spend money on her and you're gonna ask her on a date and do all of this, and she's gonna reap all the benefits of that. And all she gotta do is in exchange is go on a date. And you're not even getting nothing out the date. You're not even getting the smash. Cause these chicks is finessing you. You spending mad money on her. And you don't even get to smash because she gonna be like, oh, well, you know, I'm not entitled to, and you're not entitled. You're not entitled. You're not. And you shouldn't have known that. And she gonna play that card, though. She gonna play that card. And then you gonna be stuck because there's nothing that you could do. You can't force her to do nothing. Uh-oh. Not, not, now what? You just lost however much money on Valentine's Day. You took her to Nobu and spent money on some sushi when you could have took her to, like, Subway or something like that. You took her to Nobu and spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on this chick. You got finesse. Because you're not even getting none. And that's the other thing about Valentine's Day, man. Understand that it's V-Day, man. And the V stand for validation. The V stand for you spending your money, your hard-earned money. Everything is transactional these days. Bro, I've seen this post on Instagram. And it's to, it, it was this woman, right? And she tweeted this out. She said something along, something along the lines of, you know, if we dating, you better spend money on me. I don't date for fun. It's purely transactional, period. That's what she said. She said, period. She said, everything is transactional. Fellas, understand that there's no more being bitter, man. There's no... Is my camera crooked, man? My bad. My bad, y'all. If my camera is crooked. Man. Okay, there we go. Anyway. There's no more being bitter about women, fellas. Fellas, leave that in the past, man. That's not even what I preach. There's no more being bitter about women. There's no more... Oh, wow. Oh, 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 my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm just not going to date women then. Oh, because everything... you That's why you play the game. So that you get around all these things. You don't just sit here and be like, oh, my God, I'm, oh, my goodness, I don't like women. Oh, I hate all women. Ah, ah. Bro, that's weak. That's weak. You just have to adapt and play the game. Listen, man, understand this, dog. The bitter, the more bitter you are, bro, understand that <laughs> anytime you're upset or angry, that's when you lose in life. That's when you lose in life, bro. Because when you're upset and angry, you don't make rational decisions. You don't make rational decisions, all right? So understand that if women want things to be transactional, okay. If she's, if you dealing with a chick that's like, everything is purely transactional, okay, cool. I'm just not going to date you then. Okay, I'm not going to date you then. Or if you are going to date her, you're like, okay, cool. But if everything is transactional, understand that everything comes with a price. I'm not just going to keep paying and paying and paying and paying. You're going to have to get something in return. Let's just keep it real, fellas. What do men and women want? What men, women want dudes to spend money on them. Men want sex. That's facts. That's the truth. That's just the honest truth. Everything is transactional these days. That's what these modern women want. They just want you to spend their money on them. And valid or, or uh, Valentine's Day is the perfect day for that. Because she knows that she now gets to take advantage of her beta male orbiters. Beta male orbiters. Now, me, I don't even really use the terms alpha or beta, but beta male orbiters is basically just a guy that's in her rotation that she knows is going to be able to uh, take her on dates. And, and and do this and all and, and and give her attention and validation for free, but they're not in a relationship, right? This is just a guy that she's really keeping in the friend zone, but she's keeping him, you know what I mean? She she's just gonna flirt with him a little bit here and there to make him think that he might have a chance every now and then. But he doesn't really have a chance. That's what you are. You are the beta male orbiter. You are that, right? Because what you did was you asked to check out for Valentine's Day this year, didn't you? You tried it. You tried it. You tried it. And what happened? One of two things happened. Either she straight up rejected you and said no, or you went on the date and you spend the money. And by the time you see this video, you already going to lose that money. That, that, that's, it's gone, bro. <laughs> you can't get that money back. And I bet you didn't get none. Or if you did get some, then I want you to think about this, bro. Okay, cool. You got some. Okay. Okay. But how many more Valentine's dates do you think she went on? You think she just went on one? Because y'all not together, huh? Imagine how many more times she did that, right? Right, she gave it up to you. Understand that <laughs> things is transactional these days. So what does that mean for the future, right? Did you just want to smash? Did you catch feelings? I bet you caught feelings, didn't you? A lot of y'all be catching feelings quick. And that's what a lot of do. See, understand, <laughs> you know, understand that when you have a level of intimacy with somebody, bruh, 
it doesn't matter how cold you claim to be. It doesn't matter who you claim to be. It doesn't matter whatever, whatever. You could have, you could smash a hundred thousand chicks. A chick could smash a hundred thousand dudes. Understand that on a chemical level, bruh, literally chemicals is released from your brain that form bonds with you and that person, bruh. Understand that. And that's why a lot of y'all dudes be catching feelings with you as soon as she give it up. As soon as she give it up, you catching feelings. And now you chasing, chasing, chasing. Chasing, chasing, chasing. And she knows that that's going to happen. You know you know, you know, know why? You know why? Because she knows that dudes these days is so, is so like, they chase so much. They so deprived of female attention that they going to do whatever to hold on to the, to the little validation from women that they get. So as soon as you she give it up to you, now you chasing, you chasing, you chasing. That's you, bro. You are steady in a disadvantage uh, at a disadvantage every year. When are you gonna stand up and make a change, bro? When are you gonna stand up and make a change, dog? Here's the thing. Ultimately, what this video boils down to is, you are alone and single on Valentine's Day because of you, because you don't play the game right, because you keep chasing, because you keep playing their game, fellas. The dating world today is eat or be eaten. You play the game or you sit down, bruh. I don't want to play the game. I don't want to play. Bro, if you don't want to play the game, I don't know what to tell you. I guess you might. You then you, if, look, if you don't want to play the game, okay, cool. Wait till you're 30 years old and then these chicks have already been with all these other dudes and now they just settle for you. And now you have a marriage where she don't even respect you like that because she didn't really even want you in the first place. Is that what you would like? That's what's going to happen if you don't play the game, bruh. And you just want to sit and wait around. Let's just be real, man. You got to play the game. Because if you don't, you're going to get left on red, ghosted. You see what I'm saying, man? You have to adapt to female nature. You have to. No more complaining. See, stop complaining and whining about it, bruh. And just do it. Raise your value. Stop giving them attention. And it's easy. Try less. Try less hard. Try less, bruh. Don't try to impress her, dog. Be impressive. Stop trying to, trying to, trying to, you know what I mean? Oh, you know, I'm going to do this for her. I'm going to do that for her. And she going to be into me when I do it. Like, bro, that's not how things work. That's not how life works. She wants what she can't have. Back to my original statements. She wants what she can't have. Be the guy that she can't have. Be the guy that she can't have. Whether it's through value or whether it's through you giving your attention elsewhere, bruh. Even if you do like her. Let's say you do have feelings for a chick, right? You have to maintain that mystery, bro. You can't let it be known. You cannot let it be known. Because as soon as she knows, as soon as she knows she got you, that's, a, that's the moment, that's the moment, interest level drops. Interest level drops. And that's why you struggle with women too, bro. Her interest level drops because you already played on your card. You showing your hand off rip. You showing your hand. You losing, bruh. You losing the game. It's the fourth quarter. You down 10. What you going to do about it, bro? What you going to do about it? You going to sit and cry? You going to sit and complain? That's what a lot of you do. Oh, why wow, wow, I have a girlfriend? Why I ain't got no chicks? Why, why, why? Bro, I'm giving y'all the sauce. I'm giving y'all the answers. But Kim, we need more specific examples. More specific examples? What are you talking about, man? I just gave you the sauce in this video, dog. I just told you to focus on yourself. I just told you to stop giving them so much attention. That's the easy. And I could go more in depth on, on specific things when it comes to game. But a lot of y'all ain't even getting the bigger picture. So until you do that, I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying, stop complaining, up your value. Stop complaining, up your value. And that's how you're going to be more successful with women, bro. But anyway, that's all I got for y'all today. I hope y'all enjoyed your Valentine's Day or whatever, man. Love y'all out here, man. Peace.